morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of cold outside. You know, I have a friend who um, needs some food, so I just thought, well, I'm going to look in my cupboard to see what I can find so that I can help. Our lesson is about helping today, so I hope you stick around to see what it's all about. But in the meantime, uh, we should have some worship time and maybe I can sneak a trip to my cupboard back here and see what I have. Maybe they could use some, you think they could use some um, tomatoes or, oh, oh, here. This might be good, some baked beans. So I'm gonna be putting together a basket or a bag for my friend and I hope that you enjoy the, the worship song and then stick around for the lesson. All right, see you at the lesson.
Pablo, this is Pablo, I need you, I have an emergency. Please come help. Do you need me? Yes, I do need you. I, need, I have an emergency, can you help me? Yes, okay, I'll be right back. Let me go just get something. Okay. glad that we found you on the sidewalk. You looked pretty beat up. Yeah, well I fell down and I was like yelling for help and no one came. I am so sorry it took so long to come. Mr. Paolo came to get me and I didn't understand what the emergency was so I brought out some things I thought that um he needed, but it wasn't that. I didn't know that you had fallen down. Yeah, I slipped on the ice and the snow. I, but I know you love snow. And so tell me what happened. Well, I was trying to play a game and, and I slipped and I hit my head and hurt my arm. The doctor said, I'm gonna be sore for a while. I can see that. You poor thing, you're all bandaged up. Your head's all bandaged. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Yeah, a little. Oh, so you're all bandaged up and, and your arm, he said, it's going to take some time. Yeah. You know, Andy, sometimes we run across people who need our help and they're crying for help. They're saying, help, help. But we don't see them and we don't hear them because sometimes we're not using our ears or our hearts to listen or even our eyes. Yeah, I've done that. So, um, how did it feel you're laying there in the, in the, in the, um, on the sidewalk? I was sad. I was crying and I was saying, help, help, help. And nobody came. I am so sorry that you had that experience, you know, um, and then, and then, but then once we came, we, we all took care of you. And so everything's okay now. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so don't be sad because you know, um, this is something that you can learn that when somebody needs help that you've got to come quick. And I've got to learn when somebody needs help that we've got to come quick, right? Yeah, okay. This reminds me of a story in the Bible. Are, are you okay to listen to a story for a second? Are, are, you, are, are you, you're not gonna go play, are you? No, I'm okay to listen to a story. Okay, so we're gonna listen to a story. It is from Luke chapter 10 um, and verse uh, 30. We're starting in verse 30. I like this story. I know you know this story, so, um, but I think it's the similar to what happened to you, but we're going to, t we're, no, but nobody robbed you, but I am gonna tell the stories, okay? Yeah, I'm 
the ready for a story. So it says Jesus said, a certain man went down from Jer Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. That means he got robbed, and they stripped him of his clothing. <gasps> Yeah, I, yeah, they did. They took they took his clothes. I mean, I don't think he was left with anything really too much to wear. Maybe his underwear. I don't know. But they took his clothes. He must have been nice clothes. Yeah, I ripped my shirt and my pants. Well, we'll have to get you a new set. It says here they stripped him of his clothing and wounded him. Like me? Yes, they wound. Uh, but the, you didn't weren't wounded by people. You were wounded by the sidewalk. Yeah, I guess it's different. And they they left him, and they left him half dead. Now, by chance, it says, a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed uh, by on the other side. That's not nice. No, it's not. And then it says, likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at that place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. That, that's not nice either. Yep, it's not nice. You don't have any pictures in your Bible? No, I don't have any pictures in my Bible, but I want you to use your imagination. Okay, can you do that? Can you use your imagination? I guess so. All right, so we're, we're gonna use your, our imagination. What happened to your bandage here? It came off, okay, so let's fix that. Here we go. And it says, but a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. And so he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn. What's an inn? It's like a hotel. They didn't really have hospitals back then. So they had like places that you could stay. So there wasn't a hospital. And so this man decided to take him to like a hotel. Okay, yeah. Um, and it says here that they took that the, the Samaritan took the man to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, that means he left, he took out two denarii and gave them to the inn. What's a denarii? Well, it's money. So it's like leaving him a hundred dollars. So let's say, you know, so two meaning maybe two hundred dollars. And so, um, it's money. Denarii is money. Okay. Not dollars. No, it's denarii. Denarii? Yes, that's right. Okay. And he gave it to the innkeeper and said to him, take care of him and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I'll repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And uh, the, the man who Jesus was talking to said, he who showed mercy on him. And Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. What does that mean? Well, it just means that if he wants, God wants us to be nice to our neighbors. So he said, if the first guy who goes to church and um, saw him and passed by, and then the other guy who goes to church saw him and passed by, and this other guy came and he was not um, he was not looked upon very kindly by all the people, but he's the one who stopped. And so Jesus said the third guy was the one who showed the most mercy. So that's what Jesus said to do. He said, go and do likewise. Yeah, I like that story. You know, my mom and dad, we do it here too in your house. We have a jar. And what's in the jar? money. And what do you use that money for? Well, if somebody has a need, we have a jar that we can pull out of. So if somebody has, needs money, we give them money. Oh, I get it. So then you have a uh, like a savings account for people in need. Yeah. I think the church calls it benevolence. Yeah. So the, so our church has what's called a benevolence fund. And and um, they say they take money, so you can give to the benevolence fund. I can? 
Yes, so you can give to the Benevolence Fund, and that's what we use when people need food, or they need help with their rent, or they need help with their utilities. And right now is a good time to help people with their utilities because it's so cold outside. Yeah, you know, like the ice was so cold. So that's called a Benevolence Fund. In other words, it's like um, a Good Samaritan Fund. This is the story of the Good Samaritan, where we're helping our the people around us, not necessarily our neighbors, but uh, the ones that live next door to us, but the ones that we see uh, when we when we go around and they have a need. Now, I have to say, you can't just go to strangers and if they have a need, you have to ask your mom and dad. I have to ask, but I talk to Mr. Pablo about who we should give to because sometimes we don't know who some of those people are and so it's better to be careful. Yeah, I, I think so too. So, but you knew me, so it was okay for you to help me. Yes, exactly. So, um, you have to be very, very careful. So you might pray about who should we help if there's somebody ha that has a need. So if somebody's having a baby, maybe your family can help them by providing a meal. Or if somebody was in the hospital, you might bring them flowers or you might write them a card. That's, that's being really nice. You think I'll get some cards? I, I don't know. I don't know if you'll get any cards or flowers. I don't know if you'll get any flowers, but that's some of the nice things we can do to show love to our neighbors. All right, so um, I'm gonna pray, okay? And then we're gonna put Andy, and Andy's gonna rest because he had a bump on the head and it's better for him to rest, okay? I think so. All right, so let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the story of the Good Samaritan, and we're so sorry that Andy was in an accident and um, and that he's not feeling well. But for those people who aren't feeling well out there, all of our friends, we hope that they that you send healing and that you send somebody to be kind to them and be a good Samaritan to them. Help us to be good Samaritans to our neighbors and show them the love of God. We pray, Father, all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So friends, I hope you have an opportunity to be a good Samaritan this week and that you, you show them the love of God. We'll see you soon. Love, love, love one another and be kind. Be kind to each other.
Hi everyone, it's Bible verse time. I hope that you're ready to say this verse with me and that you've been practicing it all week long. When you need a reminder of why you should read your Bible, why you should open it up on a daily basis, this verse gives you some reasons why we need to do that. It talks about that the scriptures were written for our learning and that they give us they give us strength to go on and they encourage and give us hope. All right. So, yes, the Bible tells us about God. That is a wonderful thing because we can't see him. So we need the Bible to tell us all about how he is and how he loves us. It also tells us about Jesus and that Jesus came, that God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to come into this world so that he could die for our sins on the cross and be risen again from the dead after three days. Wow, what a story that is. And then it also tells us how we should love one another, how we should learn, how we should grow, how we should share the gospel with other people. But if you're really struggling and you just want to know why you should read the Bible, this is the good, a good verse to go to. So are you ready? Okay, I am. So we're going to do some hand motions with it. And, um, and let's see how we do. Okay, ready, set, go. Romans 15, 4. Everything written in the past was written to teach us. Scriptures give us strength to go on. They encourage us and give us hope. Romans 15, 4. We'll try that one more time. All right, one more time. And then we'll stop for today. And I, I'm not sure if we're going to, we're going to stick to this verse for the, I think we're going to change our verses in March. Okay. So we only have a couple of more Sundays to practice this verse. So we must learn it. Okay. All right. Ready, set, go. Romans 15, 4. Everything written in the past was written to teach us. The scriptures give us strength to go on. They encourage us and give us hope. Romans 15, 4. All right. I hope you practice that this week. And I hope you read your Bible every single day. All right. See you next time. Practice, practice, practice.